Pennsylvania this afternoon. The Pepperdine Waves is the San Francisco Dons here on the hilltop. And a very pleasant good afternoon to you from San Francisco. I'm George Devine. Glad you're with us during this holiday week. Well, Pepperdine's going for the sweep here in the Bay Area. The Waves won at the buzzer on Saturday, 75-74. Thrilling game with the Santa Clara Broncos. 19 lead changes leading up to the final score where Pepperdine won it. So that's how things look for Pepperdine, but a different story for San Francisco. The Dons lost at home 68-59. They never led. They had a stretch where they turned the ball over nine straight times, and they fell to LMU 68-59. So the Dons, Iowana Cormelian Company, trying to get back in the win column before heading out on a tough trip. They go to Santa Clara on New Year's Eve, then start the new year at Gonzaga in Portland. A couple of the favorites in the West Coast Conference. When we come back, it's time for the Molly Gutenbauer Show. We'll have that for you and a whole lot more. Glad you're with us on the WCC Network. And welcome back. If you've been here, you know the feeling. If you haven't, you will. It's a certain energy. It's a certain optimism. Here on this campus, in the heart of the city, people and ideas meet, mix, and spark. Eyes open. Doors open. It's real. You can feel it. You can be a part of it. And you don't even have to be here in body to feel it in spirit. Toyota with two locations to serve you in the city, one on Van Ness and one on Geary and Maui. Trying to bounce track from a conference opening loss to Loyola Marymount. What do you see as the key to get out to a faster start today? Uh, yeah, well, we came out a little bit flat for sure against Loyola. Um, you know, and Loyola was highly motivated. I think they came in, they did a great job. They made a lot of shots, um, their athleticism bothered us. And, uh, we kind of never recovered from a tough start, but, um, you know, it's a long conference season. It's a long season in general, and um, hopefully we <coughs> regroup a little bit and we'll come out. We'll be a little bit better prepared today and um, be able to protect our home court on the hilltop. Yeah, Pepperdine, what challenges are we going to see from the Waves today? Uh, there's some really good guards. Uh, they've got some new new transfer kids that have helped them uh, this season. So uh, some pretty good point guard play, some good shoot play from the shooting guard. They've got a nice uh, you know stretch four. So um, and they they're coming off of a win uh, on a you know a kind of a close game down at Santa Clara. So probably feeling pretty good and pretty confident. So we're gonna need to to come out and play good defense, and we're gonna need to um, you know stay with offense a little bit better than we did on on Saturday. Yeah, Pepperdine won the buzzer with Santa Clara on Saturday. And look at your team. You know, you had some chances on Saturday. There was that one stretch, nine turnovers in seven minutes. I mean, it's, you know, we know about shooting slumps, but there are ball handling passing slumps too. I mean, I don't know. I can't tell you the reason that we had that. Uh, you know, it just... Uh, yeah, again, it was a tough stretch of the game. We never recovered from it, but so we're moving on, George. Moving on to this game. And part of moving on, Deborah Dos Santos coming in off the bench. She's been a big part of all your games this year as a scorer and a rebounder, and she can quietly score you know, 20 points. Yeah, Deb's, uh, you know, her progression has been fun to watch, coming off of an injury and um, back to being fully healthy. She's found her fitness. I think she's found kind of a rhythm coming in off the bench. Um, certainly she could be starting for us, but she's been, you know, tremendously unselfish, been a great teammate, comes in and, you know, kind of plays within herself, gets us rebounds. Um, you know, when she takes her time and, and goes to the rim and finishes, she's tough to guard. So. Uh, we're just really, really excited that we have her and, you know, hope she keeps developing for us. You've actually got two players who are coming off the bench who are among your top scorers, Jasmine Gales being the other. Do you think there are some players who just need to see a few minutes of the game and just kind of pick their spot coming in? Um, I mean, I think, you know, the, you know, them coming off the bench is, uh, you know, more a, a function of the players that we have in the program. We've got some kids that have been here for five years and for four years and, um, you know, that, that we're comfortable with in the starting lineup. And like I said, either either Jasmine or Deb could be starting on, on almost any team in our league. So I'm really 
uh, grateful to them for being willing to come off the bench and give us everything they can when they step on the floor. Well, best of luck this afternoon, Molly. We look forward to seeing you on uh, Thursday when you return home for a non-conference game with Northern Mexico. That's the Molly Grudenbauer Show for today. Stick around. I'll have the starting lineup and the tip-off after this on the WCC Network. WCC basketball this afternoon. The San Francisco Dons host the Pepperdine Waves. As we talked about earlier, Pepperdine trying to make it two straight wins here in the Bay Area after winning at Santa Clara at the buzzer on Saturday. Marley Walls feeding Teresa Grace Mabonifo at the buzzer. Mabonifo scored 17, and for Walls, what a great day. She had 26. We're going to get a look at the San Francisco starters right now. So Abby Rathbun will get her first start of the year. First start for Abby since nearly a year ago at Tulsa. That was the last game she played in the 21-22 season. Amelie Langer will start for the second game in a row. Langer is averaging two and a half points a ball game. Rest of the starters, fairly familiar to you. Kia Valavirda, 5'8 grad student from Espoo, Finland, four and a half points, two and a half rebounds, one and a half assists to contest. Jessica McDowell White from Brisbane, Australia, the senior, averaging almost three points and a little more than four rebounds a ball game. And then one of the top scorers in the West Coast Conference, Redshirt Junior, Iowana Cromili, five foot ten, averaging 17 points a game, shooting 36%. But it comes off a seven-point game, a very disappointing performance in the loss to LMU on Saturday. Last year, she had games of 25 and 28 points. The Dons swept Pepperdine last year for the second season in a row. For Pepperdine, we talked about Walls at one guard, 5'7 grad student. Allie Stedman will also play at a guard, 5'9 sophomore. She had a 17-point game here last year in San Francisco. Jane Waba, 5'10", junior, averaging almost nine points a game. Becky Obina and Helena Friend. Benny Luna is our lead official this afternoon, and we'll get it going here on the Hilltop. Pepperdine's in the orange. San Francisco is in the white. We're glad you're with us this afternoon. But Bonifo, there were 21 lead changes Saturday between Pepperdine and Santa Clara. What an exciting game. Stedman along the baseline. Finds Wabam, a Bonifo room to work. Stedman from the corner, short on the three. Great putback try by Waba and a foul on San Francisco. So San Francisco, foul, San Francisco giving up some size early on, and that'll put Obima on the free throw line. Foul was on Jessica McDowell-White. Two free throws coming up for Obima. From Menifee, California, went to Rosary Academy. Left-hander misses the first free throw. So an Orange County product, four points a game this year, almost six rebounds, but just 36% from the line. This has been a difficult place for her. Well, she gets the spare, and Pepperdine's out to the one-nothing lead. Don's never led against Loyola Marymount on Saturday. Balaverda from the top of your screen finds Rathbun, works the head fake, doesn't get the roll, and the rebound swiped away by Walls. Walls, transfer from Bucknell, joining the waves from Kentucky, called for the travel. Grew up in Barnstown, Kentucky. Last year at Bucknell, averaged seven and a half points a ball game. McDowell White to Langer. Langer kind of flips it awkwardly to Cremile. Cremile buries the three. Well, not a lot of style points there on that pass, but that's the result San Francisco wanted. Three and one, the Dons lead it. That's the game's first field goal. Pepperdine stretching things out a little bit. And an offensive foul. Fouls on Walls. Kristen Dowling in her fourth year as head coach at Pepperdine. 
You'll see her come into the shot right there in front of the bench. Cremile again. The Oquana Cremile came in 10 points from passing Janae Dykes for sixth place on the all-time list. Now she's four away. By the way, Janae is the honorary coach this afternoon for the Dons. She's seated at the end of the bench toward the left corner of your screen. And a holding foul on the Dons. That's on Rathbun. 6-1 San Francisco. It's a 6 nothing Iowana Cremile run back-to-back -back threes. One from the wing, one from the top of the lane. Stedman. No roll there. She had 17 when they met here a year ago. Now here's Vala Virdoff. The stutter step on the score. It's an 8 nothing San Francisco run. So a much better start for the Dons than they had on Saturday. Dons trailed by 21 early in the third quarter. And Valaverda created that turnover. Helena Friend disputing Benny Luna's account of what happened. Benny Luna, our lead official today, Cheryl Blue and Sean Martin round out the crew. One other WCC game going on on our Northern California Toyota dealers WCC scoreboard. Rathbun down low, McDowell White, beautiful. Timeout, Pepperdine. That other game going on features LMU and Santa Clara. We'll update you that on that frequently, but we're going to step away. 7.36 to go in the first corner. Don's 10, Pepperdine 1 on the WCC Network. Planet Orange, a leader in eco-friendly, effective pest control. Let us be your partner for all your pest control needs. Servicing residential, industrial, and commercial customers without harming the environment. Planet Orange, family-friendly, pet-friendly, and professional. Come to USF and roll up your sleeves. Learn by doing, not just by listening. Study with professors, not with teaching assistants. In small classes, not large lecture halls. Come learn the city of optimism and opportunity. Come find your voice, find your people, find your purpose. Come to USF and prepare to succeed. Come to USF and learn to change the world. And back here live on the Hilltop, George Devonwitty, Jessica Blodge will be back on Wednesday. On that Northern California Toyota dealers out of town scoreboard, we can tell you that Santa Clara is out to the 11-6 lead early on over Loyola Marymount. LMU, Tess Heal has five points to lead the Broncos. That was a big win for LMU on Saturday here in San Francisco. A big win for Pepperdine down the road. But Bonifo puts that in. And Little throw away there. Well, Pepperdine has a stretch of three straight turnovers. Just got a look at that LMU Santa Clara game. The Lions, as the visiting team, were with a powder blue. They look like the Phillies road uniforms from way back when. Remember those powder blue Philadelphia uniforms for the Mike Schmidt, Pete Rose, Bake McBride, Larry Boa days? Yeah, okay, I'm dating myself. Nice pass by Walls and finds Obima. So Obima, tough around the basket, grew up in Carson. Used to be home of the Goodyear Blimp. Cremile getting some defensive attention. Finds Langer. Loose ball. Pepperdine extracts it quickly. Dons with some loose ball foul potential right there. Lucky they didn't get called. Pepperdine's responded after San Francisco went on a 10-0 run. Little pull-up, Stedman, nothing. And Valaverda will take it back the other way. McDowell White, no call on that knockdown. McDowell White, her own rebound. Cremile from way deep, almost. Obima will set the Pepperdine break. And there's a whistle on Valaverda, or excuse me, on 
Langer getting in there late. Dons make some changes here. Two of the Dons' three top scorers checking in. Deborah Dos Santos in the ball game. Jasmine Gales. Jasmine and Deborah both kept their scoring numbers up on Saturday. Good shot there of Stedman to inbound it. And Walls to handle it. Gales had 11 on Saturday. Dos Santos had 25 points. Great roll there for Helena Friend. Friend from Huntington Beach in Orange County. And a push. Looks like it's on Brody. KK Brody. I asked the obligatory question before the game. You know, we're playing this game in San Francisco today. Is KK Brody related to John Brody? And the answer was nobody knows. So, Quimile. Gales to Dickey. Dickey to Dos Santos. Maybe one pass too many right there. You know, with the 49ers winning the NFC West for the 21st time in the last 53 years, John Brody was the quarterback of the first three Western Division champions. The Bonifo, Dos Santos the rebound. Here's Cremile, looking to score inside, finds Gales. Gales is always a threat to score as well. Dickey caught a cannonball pass there. Bomb into the lane. Great block there by Brody. Dos Santos kept it alive for San Francisco. And Don's come up with it. Gales, three. Great job there by Walls getting that rebound. So a little six nothing spurt here for the Waves. The Bonifo, short, Dos Santos the rebound. Dons have gone cold after exploding for 10 in a row. Baum lays it in for San Francisco. 12-7. So far the shooting numbers brought to you by Lux Bus America, the official transportation partner of Dons Athletics. Get your people moving at luxbus.com. Walls coming up short, the Bonifo. Friend giving it back to the point. Inside four minutes to go, first quarter. Pepperdine in the orange, down by five. Stedman travels. Pepperdine, three of nine from the floor. You just witnessed their fifth turnover. San Francisco, five of ten from the floor, two of four from three. And the Dons have committed three turnovers. Pepperdine coming in averages 66 points a game, gives up almost 64. The ball rolling away from everybody. San Francisco averages 71 points a game, gives up almost 63. The Dons have had some blowouts against a couple of lower tier division ones, also some pretty Strong teams as well, Cremile, and the whistle by Benny Luna. You know the Don's schedule this year, you expect them to blow out the likes of a Cal State East Bay or a South Carolina State or an Arkansas Pine Bluff, but they also won by 11 at Colorado State a week ago Saturday. Cremile to Dos Santos. Cremile drawing a crowd. And a soft miss there. Obimo with the rebound for Pepperdine. Pepperdine can cut it to two with a three. That's going to go on Dos Santos. Kind of puzzled by Cheryl Blue's judgment right there. Four team fouls on San Francisco. 
Pepperdine started the year with three straight losses, all on the road, UNLV, Santa Barbara, and then LaSalle in a tournament. LaSalle part of the big five from Philly. Stedman, beautiful roll. Also lost to Fullerton in Omaha, but four straight wins for the Waves. Portland State, Bakersfield, Riverside, and then Saturday at Santa Clara. Dos Santos. How does Post feel a little lost out top? Gales. Dos Santos, the rebound. I think Cremile was tempted right there. Cremile. Dos Santos grabs the miss but it's stripped away by Walls. Walls has been aggressive at the defensive end so far. Spot Walls easily with that long sleeve on her, over her right knee. The bottom throw gives it up, and Stedman buries the jumper. Got a one-point game, and the Dons will take a timeout. Gives us a chance to remind you, Don's Basketball brought to you by Nike, the official apparel for Don's student athletes and coaches. Nike, just do it. Don's also brought to you today by Park and Fly. The next time you head to SFO or Oakland International, you can learn more about discounts and other great deals to park at the airport at pnf.com. So Santa Clara on our Northern California Toyota dealers, WCC scoreboard has gone on an eight nothing run in the last minute 50 and leads LMU 24 to 10. So Tess Heel with five, Ashley Horaki with five for the Broncos. Back here in San Francisco, Ilana Cromelia leads San Francisco with six. Ali Stedman has four as part of a balanced Pepperdine scoring effort. One point game, Jasmine Gales, bottom of your screen for San Francisco, guarded by Walls, who I really like her defensive aggressiveness. And offensive foul, San Francisco. Amy Baum called for it. Fifth team foul on the Dons. Non shooter because it happened while the Dons played offensively. And there's a call against Pepperdine. We have seen a lot of Odabumi with the foul. We've seen a lot of uh, calls off the ball. Dos Santos stretches the Don's lead back to three. Another foul inside. Odabumi from Nigeria went to high school in Los Angeles at Sierra Canyon. She will play a very short shift here. And Banafo is back. And Kristen Dowling doing some teaching on the sideline. Cremile to the hole. Yes. Cremile's got eight. One away from tying Janae Dykes. Two away from passing. The Don's all-time leader in minutes played in all basketball, men's and women's. There's a little bit of a qualifier there. Bonifo hands it off to Friend. Friend works off the screen. Cromele picks the ball. Cromele's got numbers up ahead. Bomb from the corner. Yes! 19-11, a little 7-0 spurt by San Francisco. Pepperdine three turnovers in the last minute 15. Final 42 seconds of the first. They didn't keep track of minutes played for a long time in college basketball. Walls going in deep. Dos Santos picks the rebound. Here's Baum to Dos Santos. And the score! Pepperdine's got a chance for the last shot here. San Francisco a 9-0 spurt in the last minute 21. Four for their last floor from the floor. But they played shorter seasons, and players had less eligibility before a certain date. Stedman out in the corner, and Bonifo, and the tap and a foul. That's a foul you don't want to commit. Now the next question is here, 
Fouls on Cremili, her first. How much time goes back on the clock? And that's an obvious question that both coaches are gonna ask here. So, Sean Martin and Benny Luna, the crew chief, will go over and look at the monitor because that determines whether Helena Friend has company or not at the free throw line. If the foul occurred as time ran out, then she shoots and everybody else is away from the lane. But if she shoots with any tenths of a second remaining, then you line everybody up and it's, it's the same as if the foul occurred, you know, with nine minutes left in the quarter. But yeah, Janine and I got talking about that the other day, the whole minutes played record, because they didn't really keep accurate track of minutes until probably the late 60s, early 70s. But before then, you only had three years of varsity eligibility, six tenths of a second on the clock. Friend will look for the spare. Friend on the year shooting 71% has been to the line 21 times in Pepperdine's 11 ball games. That's a good ratio. Gets the spare. Dons have enough time to inbound and heave. And not even enough time for the heave. After one, Dons by nine, 21-12. We're back after this on the WCC Network. Atop Lone Mountain, breaking through the fog that flows like an inevitable force. Embracing the ambition of this city, we aim for greatness. We focus clearly on our challenges. We see the future we will change. Let all who join us and all who compete with us know the high ground is where we stand. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees, strong like a tong squeeze. You'll say, aw, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I shouldn't have rapped. Provident Credit Union is rooted in education and is proud to be the official credit union for USF. Making your life easy is what Provident Credit Union is all about, like our super reward checking with one of the highest interest rates in the nation. And there are no ATM or monthly service fees, zero. To get started, visit one of our many Bay Area locations or go online. And back here on the Hilltop, George Devine with you. Other scores in the West Coast Conference today. This is brought to you by the Northern California Toyota dealers. BYU will hit Portland. BYU looking for a split on the Northwest trip after losing at Gonzaga on Saturday. San Diego will go over to Spokane tonight after losing in Portland, 84-81 Saturday night. Stedman, Labonifo. Obima has Stedman beneath the basket. Here's Walls with Obima ready to screen. Cremili knocked it loose, eight to shoot. Obima, Stedman from the corner. And Obima had the rebound. And then Langer came in, knocked it out. And the jump ball will favor San Francisco. I was really surprised when I saw that Final score, 84-81, Pepperdine, Portland beating San Diego. San Diego's a team that can really grind it on you defensively. Portland can do that too. Cormile kept alive by Dos Santos. Rathbun goes to the deck, but Obima keeps it going for Pepperdine. And Friend with the score. Friends got a great touch around the basket. McDowell White. Cremile off the cut. Cremile to McDowell White. Dos Santos back to McDowell White. They tried a little give and go there. It'll stay with the Dons, 11 to shoot. But Portland's one of those teams. Michael Meek, for as much offense as he gets out of you know, Alex Fowler, 
They can they can have a lot of fun defensively. Cremile has fun offensively. And so Cremile now with 10. She's now the sixth all-time leading scorer in San Francisco women's basketball history. Starting to get toward the rarefied air. Stedman pushing that one too hard. McDowell White. Ooh, and there's a trip. Walls called for the behind trip on Langer. And Langer with a history of knee injuries. You gotta always hold your breath in a situation like that. I mean, so many players, Division I women's players have had knee trouble. Rathbun to Cremile. Back to Rathbun. He's got the position, called for the charge. 23-14 San Francisco. Don's basketball brought to you this afternoon by Evergood Sausages. Locally made here in San Francisco for more than 95 years. You can find Evergood's hot links and other varieties at a grocer near you. Here is Stedman. Long pass to Friend. Brody looking to give it up. Shot clock at seven. And the putback. Number zero, Teresa Now here's Rathbun. All alone. Brumfield got it going for Pepperdine. Waves back within seven. I like the color orange. Love it when it's mixed with blue. Friend, McDowell White, pushing to Cremile. Look how she attracts a crowd in orange. Langer, Valverde extends the possession. Langer again. Rathbun, McDowell White. Another offensive board for San Francisco. And Cremile keeps it alive for Langer. McDowell White, I think she was tempted to take that three. Here's Cremile. Another offensive board. And the official stopping play was something having to do with the shot clock. Probably Gutenbauer. You couldn't see it, but she picked the ball up. Yeah, it was reset to 20, but it only hit glass. Lauren Christie, Jasmine Gales, Amy Baum back for. So Cremile and Valverde will stay out on the floor. So should it be 20 or should it be seven on the shot clock? Let's take a look. We're gonna go to video to determine this. While we have a chance to go to video, mention Evergood Sausages, proud to sponsor the Dodge. You can find Evergood and many other fine brands at the Arglobo Market, home to San Francisco's best fresh roasted turkey sandwich. I'll take mine on sourdough, please. The Arglobo Market at Arglobo and Cabrillo, just a few blocks from the hilltop. Don's basketball also comes to you this afternoon, thanks to Planet Orange Pest Control. The Bay Area's best eco-friendly pest control service. You can find out more at planetorange.com. You know, yesterday I did some last minute holiday shopping. The USF Don's online store, they can help you. Be sure your Don's pride like never before at usfdons.com slash shop. Speaking of holidays, we want to wish a very happy second night of Hanukkah to all of our friends who celebrate the Festival of Light. Shalom, friends. So my favorite time of the year, you get the... Yeah, it starts in the fall. You know, you, the days are getting shorter, the air gets crisper, you've got the baseball playoffs, you've got college football, pro football, then we get into basketball. You've got so many great holidays, so many celebrations. Great time to see family and friends and celebrate all of our traditions. So the Dons will have 20 to shoot after Benny Luna confirmed, and now 
he's obliged to tell Kristen Dowling why it's 20 instead of seven. Don's out rebounding, actually getting out rebounded today. So I think they had three rebounds in that possession. So they're on a three nothing rebounding run. 206 scoring drought for San Francisco. Gales looking to get into the offense for the first time today. In deep to Christie. Bomb to Christie and the score. Australia feeds the mother country of England. 25-16. Christie grew up outside London. Now here's Brody in the lane. She's short, and Christie towers for the rebound. Get a good look at Christie there as a ball handler. Gales looking for somebody to pass to. Oliverda, Cremili. Christie on a slash. Christie might have a mobility advantage against Brody. Here's Cremile. Yes. Cremile with that quick flick of the hand. And so now it's being acknowledged in the building that she's passed Janae Dykes. 27-16 San Francisco. Pepperdine now in a two-minute plus scoring drought. Three ball is good for Drea Brumfield from Chehalis, Washington. And if I said it wrong, Jim Sollers will call me. Former coach at Portland. Valaverda from Mele. Dons have hit the offensive glass well today. Cremile uses the box for the score. 14 points for Cremili. The Dons open up a 10-point edge with 4.45 to go. Helping coach my daughter's sixth grade basketball team is something we talk about every practice. The box, the rectangle behind the basket, it's your friend. Fouls on Stedman, her first. Second team foul on the, the quarter on the waves. Dons have led since an early nothing run. An early 10 nothing run. Here's Gales, buries the three. 32-19 with 4.17 to go. Dons will be home Thursday, hosting Northern New Mexico. Stedman's floater. Brody keeps it alive. Friend for three. And a foul on the rebounds going against Pepperdine. Number 13, Dos Santos returns to the so Dos Santos back for the Dons. And you know what's been remarkable for the Dons today? That whole offensive rebounding run took place without Dos Santos in there. I mean, she's in a lot of ways probably the Don's best fundamental rebounder, best instinctive rebounder. Obima is back for the waves. Christie now swings it out to Gales. Baum looking for McDowell White. In deep, Dos Santos taking on the much taller Obima. And the rebound cleared out. And a foul inside on Dos Santos. I really like watching Obima down in the block. She brings a lot of presence in there. USF foul number 13, Deborah Dos Santos. Obima transfer from TCU. Last year averaged seven and a half points, six and a half rebounds. Dons and Waves played a thriller in Malibu last year toward the end of February. Dons had to use everything they had to come out of there with a win. Stedman from distance. Allie Stedman with a very Cremilli-esque shot. Gales. Dos Santos fouled from behind. 
That game a year ago between the Dons and the Waves. Dons won at 74-66. They outscored Pepperdine by nine in the fourth quarter. So Pepperdine led by one at the end of three. Del Santos the line for two. Good shot at Deborah right there. You see the commemorative patch on her right shoulder for Bill Russell. There are also number six flags hanging above the court, but that's the same six the NBA is wearing this year for the most famous alumnus of the University of San Francisco. You know, you get a pretty good debate. Is it Bill Russell? Is it Pete Rozelle? Is it Pierre Salinger? Is it Casey Jones? It'll be a lot of fun. I know it's not me. Pretty sure about that. 34-22. Stedman. And good hands by Baum right there to Dos Santos. Gales. Yes! Jasmine Gales got to the open spot. And the Dons open up a 15-point lead with 2.20 to go in the half. Much different vibe around here than on Saturday. This was the same time in the game when the Dons had the nine straight turnovers. Obima with the miss. Dos Santos, another rebound. Gales looking to deal this time. McDowell White is always looking to pass. Finds Gales, tough angle right there. That's one of those, what an old high school basketball coach used to call me a fingertip, fingertip defense. All it takes, you hold your hand up and you got your middle finger, you know that finger, your tall man finger. It's a little taller than the rest of your hand and just the tip of that finger sometime can make a huge difference in defense. Just gotta have the tip of tall man touch the ball and guess what? You might create a turnover. Deflect a pass, block a shot. Stedman. Now Friend, shot clock at six. Open shot. Brumfield. Dos Santos, another rebound. She's got eight for the Dons to go with six points. Dos Santos from the elbow. Christie, room to work. Count it for San Francisco. Lauren Christie off the bench, four points, a rebound, and an assist. She's played three minutes, a very efficient three minutes, we might add. Well, the Dons have a chance here with a stop to open up a 20-point lead going into the break. I think this is what a lot of fans expected to see Saturday. Stedman, McDowell White right there, just disrupting play, two to shoot for Pepperdine. And you can say that it's not a steal, but Pepperdine's got to reset what they're doing and shoot quickly. Stedman, and time runs out. Jasmine Gales just came over with a little obstructionist defense. 35 seconds left in the half. Don's hit a three, they're up 20. Christie, good to see her moving well after going down with an injury at Northridge. Dos Santos on the alley-oop. McDowell White setting her up. McDowell White now has three assists. 41-22. The Dons. Rob play in deep. And hang on, what's the call? They're gonna say it's on the floor. Lauren Christie's getting called for it, but if I'm USF Becky Obima, I'm taking issue with that call because I had a basket taken away. Five and a half seconds to go here. Fouls on Dos Santos, her third, so Kennedy Dickey will pick things up defensively for the final five and a half seconds. And another foul on the Dons. This one will put Friend on the free throw line. Dons on a 14-3 run in the last 4.53. They've hit five of their last seven shots, and Friend will try to break a 3-11 scoring drought here for Pepperdine. 
Friend today one of two at the line, make it one of three. Coming into play today, Friend 71%. Remember, she's getting into the game basically two times a game. Gets her second spare. Number three, Amy Ball for Jessica McDowell White. Tonsil Wool, remember the five second shop count continues. Two seconds. Cremeli blocked. Well, that might be the biggest block of Helena Friend's season, denying one of the best three-point shooters in the country at the buzzer. But the Dons will take an 18-point lead into the dressing room. Halftime in San Francisco. San Francisco 41, Pepperdine 23 on the WCC Network. The ProvidenceCU.org slash USF. Get the official University of San Francisco checking account that pays you money from Provident Credit Union. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you... Magic. Secure your delivery and low financing rate on RAV4, Camry, and Highlander. Or get a great lease on RAV4 and Camry for just $389 a month. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. If you've been here, you know the feeling. If you haven't, you will. It's a certain energy. It's a certain optimism. Here on this campus, in the heart of the city, people and ideas meet, mix, and spark. Eyes open. Doors open. It's real. You can feel it. You can be a part of it. And you don't even have to be here in body to feel it in spirit. Planet Orange, a leader in eco-friendly, effective pest control. Let us be your partner for all your pest control needs. Servicing residential, industrial, and commercial customers without harming the environment. Planet Orange, family-friendly, pet-friendly, and professional. Come to USF and roll up your sleeves. Learn by doing, not just by listening. Study with professors, not with teaching assistants. In small classes, not large lecture halls. Come learn the city of optimism and opportunity. Come find your voice, find your people, find your purpose. Come to USF and prepare to succeed. Come to USF and learn to change the world. Atop Lone Mountain, breaking through the fog that flows like an inevitable force. Embracing the ambition of this city, we aim for greatness. We focus clearly on our challenges. We see the future we will change. Let all who join us and all who compete with us know the high ground is where we stand. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees, strong like a tongue squeeze. You'll say, aw, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I shouldn't have wrapped. Provident Credit Union is rooted in education and is proud to be the official credit union for USF. Making your life easy is what Provident Credit Union is all about. Like our super reward checking with one of the highest interest rates in the nation. And there are no ATM or monthly service fees. Zero. To get started, visit one of our many Bay Area locations or go online to ProvidenceCU.org slash USF. Get the official University of San Francisco checking account that pays you money from Provident Credit Union. Oh. 
on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you... Magic. Secure your delivery and low financing rate on RAV4, Camry, and Highlander. Or get a great lease on RAV4 and Camry for just $389 a month. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. If you've been here, you know the feeling. If you haven't, you will. It's a certain energy. It's a certain optimism. Here on this campus, in the heart of the city, people and ideas meet, mix, and spark. Eyes open. Doors open. It's real. You can feel it. You can be a part of it. And you don't even have to be here in body to feel it in spirit. Planet Orange, a leader in eco-friendly, effective pest control. Let us be your partner for all your pest control needs, servicing residential, industrial, and commercial customers without harming the environment. Planet Orange, family-friendly, pet-friendly, and professional. Come to USF and roll up your sleeves. Learn by doing, not just by listening. Study with professors, not with teaching assistants. In small classes, not large lecture halls. Come learn the city of optimism and opportunity. Come find your voice, find your people, find your purpose. Come to USF and prepare to succeed. Come to USF and learn to change the world. Atop Lone Mountain, breaking through the fog that flows like an inevitable force. Embracing the ambition of this city, we aim for greatness. We focus clearly on our challenges. We see the future we will change. Let all who join us and all who compete with us know the high ground is where we stand. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees, strong like a tongue squeeze. You'll say, ah, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I shouldn't have wrapped. Provident Credit Union is rooted in education and is proud to be the official credit union for USF. Making your life easy is what Provident Credit Union is all about. Like our super reward checking with one of the highest interest rates in the nation. And there are no ATM or monthly service fees. Zero. To get started, visit one of our many Bay Area locations or go online to ProvidenceCU.org slash USF. Get the official University of San Francisco checking account that pays you money from Provident Credit Union. to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you? Magic. Secure your delivery and low financing rate on RAV4, Camry, and Highlander. Or get a great lease on RAV4 and Camry for just $389 a month. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. If you've been here, you know the feeling. If you haven't, you will. It's a certain energy. It's a certain optimism. Here on this campus, in the heart of the city, people and ideas meet, mix, and spark. Eyes open. Doors open. It's real. You can feel it. You can be a part of it. And you don't even have to be here in body to feel it in spirit.
Planet Orange, a leader in eco-friendly, effective pest control. Let us be your partner for all your pest control needs, servicing residential, industrial, and commercial customers without harming the environment. Planet Orange, family-friendly, pet-friendly, and professional. Come to USF and roll up your sleeves. Learn by doing, not just by listening. Study with professors, not with teaching assistants. In small classes, not large lecture halls. Come learn the city of optimism and opportunity. Come find your voice, find your people, find your purpose. Come to USF and prepare to succeed. Come to USF and learn to change the world. Atop Lone Mountain, breaking through the fog that flows like an inevitable force. Embracing the ambition of this city, we aim for greatness. We focus clearly on our challenges. We see the future we will change. Let all who join us and all who compete with us know the high ground is where we stand. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees, strong like a tong squeeze. You'll say, aw, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I shouldn't have rapped. Provident Credit Union is rooted in education and is proud to be the official credit union for USF. Making your life easy is what Provident Credit Union is all about, like our super reward checking with one of the highest interest rates in the nation. And there are no ATM or monthly service fees, zero. To get started, visit one of our many Bay Area locations or go online to ProvidenceCU.org slash USF. Get the official University of San Francisco checking account that pays you money from Provident Credit Union. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you? Magic. Secure your delivery and low financing rate on RAV4, Camry, and Highlander. Or get a great lease on RAV4 and Camry for just $389 a month. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. If you've been here, you know the feeling. If you haven't, you will. It's a certain energy. It's a certain optimism. Here on this campus, in the heart of the city, people and ideas meet, mix, and spark. Eyes open. Doors open. It's real. You can feel it. You can be a part of it. And you don't even have to be here in body to feel it in spirit. Planet Orange, a leader in eco-friendly, effective pest control. Let us be your partner for all your pest control needs. Servicing residents. And Bonifo, Stedman challenging Valaverde. And counted in the foul for Becky Obima. So Bima really one of the stronger post players you're going to see all season long here in the West Coast Conference. Don's basketball brought to you today by Ticket Smarter. Buy tickets to the best sporting events, concerts, and plays. A smarter, by the way, a smarter way to buy tickets at TicketSmarter.com. Pepperdine extends the possession, but the Nami Rathbun forces the jump ball against Friend. 
on our Northern California Toyota dealers. WCC scoreboard, Santa Clara leads Loyola Marymount 36-23 at halftime at the Levy Center. Downs will go to Santa Clara on New Year's Eve. And Walls off the steal. Has Obima in deep. Really got a size advantage there against Rathbun. Beautiful job on the putback. Obima using the window to her advantage. Quimili. McDowell White. Langer, I think, wanted the foul called right there. McDowell White leans into it. Obima prevails. Walls along the top of your screen. Bonifo with the score. Pepperdine back within 12. Don's had a chance to really push this past 20 toward the end of the second quarter. And Valavera, that's a clean block. Dos Santos and Christie will come back for Rathbun and Valavera. So the Don's with one of the taller lineups they can put on the floor. Although you watch Christie and you think, well, she's not a pure post. She's kind of a positionless player who happens to be tall. And Dos Santos call for the charge. Obima. That's the fourth on Dos Santos. And Benny Luna doing some explaining to Molly Gutenbauer over toward the left of your screen. Don's basketball brought to you today by 25 Ventures, the preeminent diversity-focused venture fund. Learn more at 25ventures.com. Walls working it against Langer. Stedman has had played a strong game. Obima has been impressive. And Bonifo picking up where she left off with the buzzer beater at Santa Clara on Saturday. Dos Santos to Christie. Dos Santos using her feet, coming up short, and that's number five. I don't think Dos Santos could have avoided that one. So Deborah Dos Santos' day will end after 12 minutes, eight points, and eight rebounds. And Pepperdine showing some life here in the third quarter. After trailing at the break, by nearly 20. Dons have seen Pepperdine make three shots in a row. That'll stay with Pepperdine. 41-23 at halftime for San Francisco. We played two and a half minutes here. The Dons have not scored yet in the third. Dons shooting 47%, Pepperdine 39%. Christie. Picks that one up after McDowell White got it going. Cromile gonna take this in herself. And she's called for the charge. That's the second charge here in the third quarter. And Molly Gutenbauer, you see her at the bottom of your screen, her silhouette at least. Not happy with the call. But Pepperdine on a little eight nothing spurt to start the second half. And I don't know how that's not a charge. Pretty good forearm extended. Pepperdine has 15 to shoot. Friend will trigger it in. Swiffer kids have been busy today. Stedman. Montefo. A little too hard there, and cromelia has got the rebound. San Francisco with a 21-19 rebounding advantage. Seems like half those rebounds came on the same possession. Christie, short. Loose ball, Kennedy Dickey getting in there, and the jump will go to Pepperdine. Tom's in a possession with three offensive rebounds. Friendle inbound. 
Just off as you see it to the right of our broadcast booth. If you haven't figured it out yet, we work backwards here. You see the game the opposite view that we see it without monitors. Charge on Pepperdine. That's on Marley Walls, her third. Walls set up that game-winning bucket on Saturday. Pepperdine trail the 74-73, and then Walls and Bonifo did their thing, and they won at 75-74. They're looking for the NorCal sweep. Don's looking for the split after losing to LMU. Gales out of the corner. Yes! Big shot for Jasmine Gales. That makes it a 13-point Don's edge. First San Francisco points since intermission. Six minutes to go in the third. Stedman. And Christie stretches past Brody for the rebound. Cremile into the crowd. Christie up top. Christie in deep. Little too hard. Great hustle by Gales. That's a great hustle play. Gales had a play like that at Colorado State. Three to shoot. Gales has it stripped. Here's Walls. And Kennedy Dickey stretches her arms for that one. Gales at the head of the pack. Dickey, the putback. Christie, another offensive board, and she's fouled. And Banifo with her first. Number 15, Becky Obima. Obima back for Brody. But I'm impressed with the size and the strength Kristen Dowling has up front on this Pepperdine squad with Obima and Brody. They're just natural post players, just real comfortable in the paint. Christy nets the first, Christy. She's now played in back-to-back -back games after getting hurt at Northridge, missing the game at Shea Center, missing the win on the road at Colorado State. Gets both free throws. The Dons lead back to 15 at 5.12 to go here in the third. San Francisco's averaged 71 points a ball game this year. Only scored 58. Christy will get in on the jump ball action here. Late whistle, but she created that Pepperdine turnover. You know, we talked about the roll of your fingers and what your middle finger can do, just knocking the ball away. 15-point lead for San Francisco. Don's with the ball when we come back to the hilltop on the WCC Network. Residential, industrial, and commercial customers without harming the environment. Planet Orange, family-friendly, pet-friendly, and professional. Come to USF and roll up your sleeves. Learn by doing, not just by listening. Study with professors, not with teaching assistants. In small classes, not large lecture halls. Come learn the city of optimism and opportunity. Come find your voice, find your people, find your purpose. Come to USF and prepare to succeed. Come to USF and learn to change the world. Atop Lone Mountain, breaking through the fog that flows like an inevitable force. Embracing the ambition of this city, we aim for greatness. We focus clearly on our challenges. We see the future we will change. Let all who join us and all who compete with us know the high ground is where we stand. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees, strong like a tong squeeze. You'll say, aw, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I shouldn't have rapped. 
here in San Francisco. Don's basketball brought to you on this Monday afternoon by Coke. Don's fans, there's magic when we cheer together. Let's create some magic with an ice cold Coke. Cheers. Well, you know, it's always good to have young people in the house in the seventh and eighth grades from Convent of the Sacred Heart and Stewart Hall for Boys are here enjoying the game today. We're glad to see. I know the girls' school, they're the Cougars. I forget what the Stewart Hall mascot is. Played against him a few times. 46-31 Dons, Christy doesn't get the roll. Good rebound there by Friend. Friend her third rebound of the day. And Stedman knocking that one down. Stedman had 17 here a year ago. She's got 10. Cromile, yes. Iowana Cromile. Ends an 0 for 4 stretch for San Francisco. Don's back up by 15. It's getting a little tighter down in Santa Clara and Bonifo. Dickey keeping it alive for Cremile. 41-34 Santa Clara. Cremile again! Don's up by 18. Here's Stedman, short, Cremile's got the rebound. Cremile can do it all. To Christie. Big rebound there, but Christie steals it. Gale's left open. Dickey trying to keep that alive, but it's Stedman with the ball for Pepperdine, and Bonifo wants it, and she scores it. Last year, Played at Cornell, the leading scorer for the Big Red. I had fun when the Dons played at Cornell 20 years ago. Beautiful part of the world. Cremile. Yes! Cremile erupting in the third quarter. She's got 23 on 5 of 10 from distance. 55-36. Stedman. And the score. Give me that's on Walls. Walls scores for the first time after a career high 26 at Santa Clara. Bomb keeps it alive. Oh, is she going to take it? Cremile, corner for Dickey. Dickey tees it up. Short. And Bonifo with it. And that will be a jump ball. It'll stay with Pepperdine. But the Broncos led that one at halftime, 36 to 23. It's now a 10 point game, but at one point LMU had it down five. Heo and Haraki each have 11 for the Broncos. Alexis Mark on the bench with 15 leads LMU. Lions looking for the Bay Area sweep as well, just like Pepperdine is here. But when you get the ball stuck there, it resets the shot clock, and we go to the jump ball hour to determine who gets the rebound. And right there, Langer got the rebound after the block. So she'll get two stats on that play. And Friend will get a steal right there after the Gales turnover. And a blocking foul on San Francisco, Jasmine Gales. You know, if you watch Saturday's game, you saw the pregame show we had with Molly Gudenbauer. She talked about, you know, I, I always say Gales gets uncorked every now and then or just kind of throws herself, you know, in, into the abyss. Molly had a great word. She said she tur Jasmine turns herself into a projectile. Friend going for her third spare of the day. Her splits at the line have been missed the first, make the second. Let's see if the trend holds here. It does. Kind of reminds us of bowling for dollars. That's why I say spare. It's a tribute to bowling for dollars. And somebody posted on Facebook, one of my friends, that they had a holiday party at the El Camino Lanes in Sacramento, which is where a lot of the uh, Northern California 
Bowling for Dollars episodes took place. 55-39, the Dons lead it here. The shooting numbers, this is brought to you by San Francisco Toyota with two convenient locations lo to serve you, one on Van Ness, one at 2nd Avenue in Geary. San Francisco Toyota, a part of our community since 1966. Dons shooting 43%, 21 of 49 overall, which mirrors their number from three, nine of 21. Pepperdine, 16 of 42 overall, 38%, three of 11 from three, 27%. Rebounding favors the Dons, 28-25. Dons have 11 offensive rebounds today, which is a great number. And it seems like about seven of them came on two possessions. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but but here's a number if you're Kristen Dowling and Pepperdine, I think should trouble you. You're four of nine from the free throw line. Now, neither team has shot a lot of free throws. Don's are four of four. I mean, 13 free throws in the ball game at this point is, is almost nothing. You see that San Francisco as a team shoots 18 free throws as a game. Pepperdine as a team shoots 19 a game. So by this point, you know, essentially three quarters of the way done, you should have taken a few more free throws. Don's ball with 2.01 to go in the third. San Francisco hosts Northern New Mexico Thursday. Christy back out to Gales. Don's seem to have reasserted themselves after an abysmal game on Saturday. Christy, really drawing, drawing a beam out with her. Here's Langer, great job finding Gales. That couldn't find the hoop, and Bonifo the rebound. And after uh, Thursday, the Dons are back out on the road. Pepperdine will head home, Friend finds home. 55-42, Don's lead cut down to 13 with a minute 15 to go in the third. Langer's got Gales on a cut. Gales tries to squeeze it over there. Fulcher throws it away. Cammy Fulcher seeing her first action in a few games. And Bonifo, no charge called. Bonifo again with the score. Bonifo with 10. Christie. Obima the rebound. Don's on a two minute, 22 second scoring drought. Pepperdine has cut the lead down to 11. Camille creating a turnover. Don's can play for the last shot. Friend with the foul. Three, Waves had a foul to give right there. They still have a foul to give. Cammy Fulcher. Fulcher out for the Dons. So Gales, Christie, Langer, Baum, and Cremile. Final 20 seconds. Good opportunity here for the Dons to really test their half court game. Shot clock's at seven, there's a one second difference. And the waves get it, Stedman racing the clock. Almost three quarters in the books. We're multiplying by 11 today on the Hilltop. San Francisco 55, Pepperdine 44. We're back after this on the WCC Network. Provident Credit Union is rooted in education and is proud to be the official credit union for USF. Making your life easy is what Provident Credit Union is all about, like our super reward checking with one of the highest interest rates in the nation. And there are no ATM or monthly service fees, zero. To get started, visit one of our many Bay Area locations or go online to providencecu.org slash USF. Get the official University of San Francisco checking account that pays you money from Provident Credit Union. Now's the time to get
And back here in San Francisco, Don's Basketball brought to you by Corona Extra, the official cerveza of La Vida Masfina. Find the fine life with Corona Extra, and please enjoy all adult beverages responsibly. Pepperdine outscored the Don's 21-14 in the third quarter, a seven point edge after the Dons led by 18 at halftime. Gales off the Christie screen. Gales tied up and a jump ball created. She got sandwiched right there by Stedman and Obima. Obima from Menifee, California. Really impressed with her today. She played a great game during the second meeting last year in Malibu. She had three block shots in that game. But Pepperdine, you know, when you're down 18 at the half, you just, okay, let's win the third quarter. They did that. And then just try to find a win in the fourth. Stedman finds the basket. 45-47, so Pepperdine shaved 10 points off the Don's halftime edge. Cremili gets it back to 10. Cremili with 25. She had games of 25 and 28 last year against Pepperdine. She's averaging between 17 and 18 a game this year. Coming off a very forgettable seven points in Saturday's loss to LMU. Obima has it knocked away by Christie. Okay, you know, you say, all right, Don's didn't create a turnover, but Pepperdine has to reshuffle its plans. And Obima, up hard, loses the handle. And the Don's handle the slippery basketball. Christie, tough catch, a score! That's your ever good sausage play of the game. Amy Baum feeding Christie. Lovely play. Obima, more of a passer out at that distance than anything else. And Cremili, off the deflection, has it. Well, you get a feeling Cremili's got a groove back today. Oliverda, back to Cremili. Langer at the bottom of your screen. Shot clock works down at 10. Valoverda, catch and shoot. That's one of those, it's gotta be oh so right. It's gotta be like Goldilocks liking the third bowl of porridge. I don't think I've ever eaten porridge in my life. Second personal on Langer. First team foul of the quarter on San Francisco. Obima out and Brody back for Pepperdine. We'll check in on the Santa Clara LMU game in a moment. Now, I think Bill Carr is breathing a little easier right now. We'll tell you more about that on our Northern California Toyota dealers WCC scoreboard. Shot goes in for Stedman. Stedman having a great game. She's got 15 on six of 18 shooting. She's three of seven from distance. The Broncos now lead 57-40 as they're just started the fourth quarter at the Levy Center. Christie and a whistle. Haraki has 14 and Tess Heal has 13. I'm looking forward to seeing Tess Heal play on New Year's Eve. Freshman from Australia who's really helped Santa Clara this year. Christie to Valoverda. Bomb to Valoverda. And the score! So Baum setting her up. And Stedman keeps knocking him down from distance. Timeout Pepperdine and Kristen Dowling. Dowling in her fourth year as the head coach at Pepperdine calls the timeout. The waves are within nine with 6.59 to go on the WCC network. Exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid. RAV4. Tundra. And more. Uh, how did you? Magic. 
Secure your delivery and low financing rate on RAV4, Camry, and Highlander. Or get a great lease on RAV4 and Camry for just $389 a month. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. If you've been here, you know the feeling. If you haven't, you will. It's a certain energy. It's a certain optimism. Here on this campus, in the heart of the city, people and ideas meet, mix, and spark. Eyes open. Doors open. It's real. You can feel it. You can be a part of it. And you don't even have to be here in body to feel it in spirit. And back here in San Francisco, Don's Basketball brought to you today by Nike, the official apparel for Don's student athletes and coaches. Nike, just do it. So Ali Stedman has hit four out of nine tries from three-point range today. Almost matching Cremili, who's five of ten. And that'll go to the waves. Great job there by Stedman. She's doing it at both ends of the court. 18 points. She's got three assists, a steal, and a block in 33 minutes as well to go with her 18. Stedman works off the Brody screen, scores again. And all of a sudden, it's a seven-point game. So a lot of basketball left here in San Francisco. Stedman and the Waves winning the second half after trailing by 18 at intermission. Cremile gets the roll. Well, Iogana Cremile's got 27. She might need to have one of those player of the week kind of games to win this one. And a charge called against Stedman. Second on Stedman. Cremili's minutes were limited on Saturday. Played only 20. She fouled out with some very interesting calls. She's got the ball top of your screen, guarded by Friend. Rathbun back in there. Rathbun started today for the first time in almost a year. Remember, she missed two-thirds of last season with an injury. And that'll go to the Waves. That's turnover number 16 for the Dons. Pepperdine with 19 turnovers. The points off turnovers favors San Francisco 24 to 16. But just to give you a little picture here, at halftime, the Dons had a 22-11 advantage in points off turnovers, and they led the game by 18. Right now, their lead stands at nine. Friend working off the Obima screen. Dickey got a piece of that. And a foul on the rebound. That's going to go against San Francisco. Actually, on the shot, it's going to go against San Francisco. And Friend is hurting. We hope she's okay. But the Pepperdine trainer out to have a look at her, and Mark Papadopoulos and his arena operations team standing by. So the foul is called on Dickey, her first. Uh, Pepperdine's hit its last three shots from the floor. Remember Don's men's basketball? The Mavericks from the University of Texas Arlington are in town for a 7 o'clock date with Chris Gerlofson's squad. What a great win on Saturday for the Dons at La in Las Vegas. Winning at the buzzer. Terrell Roberts. When I hear his name, I think of the actor Pernell Roberts. Kind of got a similar ring to it. Pernell Roberts was the star of the 1980s, I don't know, you call that a rom-com? Trapper John M.D., the, tra the Trapper John McIntyre character, played by its third actor. Official the, last play. the officials are going to take a look at the last play as 
The medical attention continues. So, the officials reviewed it, but yeah, it was Elliot Gould in. Yeah, Elliot Gould played Trapper John in the movie. Wayne Rogers, the late Wayne Rogers, played him in the TV version of MASH. And then Pernell Roberts played him. And it's good to see Friend getting up. So Brian Rosario, one of the assistant coaches, also coming out to aid her departure from the court. Brian's a good guy, coached for a long time with Julie Wilhoyt at LMU. Julie, one of our favorite people. So Brumfield will replace Friend. Brumfield. Well, Brumfield, oh, they're going to have Walls shoot the free throw. No, Brumfield's got to shoot the free throws because she's the one-for-one -one replacement. You can't have somebody else who was in the lineup on the floor shoot the free throws for the exited player. So Brumfield doing her job hitting the first free throw. It's like a pinch hitter in baseball. You can't take the the number seven batter and slide them into the nine spot and say, okay, no, no, you got to bring somebody else in. 63-56, Don's by seven. McDowell White's back in there. Langer, tough catch, can't hold on. Turnover number 17 for the Dons. Pepperdine has outscored the Dons in the second half. 28, as many as they have in the first half. 28 to 22, makes a difference. And Bonifo throws it away. McDowell White to Cremile. Cremile has been hot today, gets fouled. Bonifo a little frustrated by the call. Second on in Banifo from Ostego, Minnesota. Mia Cornell. Cremile out between the circles. McDowell White to Cremile on a flash in the score. Cremile's got 29 on 12 of 18 shooting. She's making two thirds of her shots overall. She's made half of her threes, five of 10. Stedman giving it up. Walls wants it. Marley Walls has played well this weekend. Rathbun nearly knocked it away. Down to eight to shoot. Obima fouled by Rathbun. She'll go to the line for two. San Francisco foul number 55, Abby Rathbun. Fourth, Fourth on Rathbun. Jasmine Gales will come back for McDowell White. Christie is going to have to be the front line solution the rest of the ball game now that Dos Santos fouled out early in the third quarter. That fifth foul on Dos Santos was probably unavoidable. But maybe two, three, and four, perhaps one she could have avoided. You never know. Obima at the line today. Now two of four coming in on the season at 36%. Gets them both there. Hey, you don't care what you are for the season until you hit a couple in a close ball game. And we've seen 90% free throw shooters miss two before. Langer to Christie. Back to Langer. Cremile. Lays it in. Cremile's got 31. Well, Cremile had 40 last year against Portland. Room service rebound for Brumfield. Off the Stedman miss. Walls wants it. Obima short. Out of bounds to the Dons. been a very even series between these two teams. 
Downs have won the last four meetings. Christie to Dickey. Camille drawing some attention. Christie the rebound. A foul on the putback. Dons are going to the line. First on Obima. Lauren Christie at the line for San Francisco. Dons lead the series 40-39 against Pepperdine. Waves trying to beat the Dons for the first time since 2020 when they won here in San Francisco 70-64. Waves had run four in a row at that point in the series. And kind of a back and forth series in terms of runs and streaks. Christie gets both. The Dons lead back to 11 with three minutes to go. Cromeli has been fabulous today. What a difference 48 hours can make. Stedman guarded by Langer. Into Obima, challenging Christie. And Kennedy Dickey all alone for the rebound. Christie got tripped. She's up and moving away from what you can see. Now you see her rejoin the picture. Cromeli. Well, I think Cromeli was looking for the whistle right there. Or wanted the whistle. On our Northern California Toyota dealers, out of town scoreboard, Santa Clara 61, LMU 42. So the Broncos appear headed to victory at home. Dons will see them on December 31st. Pepperdine's got a tough assignment coming up on the 29th. Gonzaga comes to town. So. Gonzaga, the favorite this year in the WCC, beat BYU on opening day. And Banifo. Nine point lead for the Dons. Into crunch time. 155 to go. Dickey to Langer. Christie for the three. Rebound. Stedman and Pepperdine. Great pass from Banifo. Stedman with the three. Stedman has played a marvelous game today. She's got 23. It's a two possession lead for San Francisco with 127 left. Timeout, Molly Gutenbauer. Well, Molly's got plenty of timeouts left. Two remaining after that one. Pepperdine has one remaining. If you're thinking about fouls, Pepperdine's committed four, which means the Dons are on the line on the next one, away from a shot. And the Dons have committed three, so the Dons have a foul to give. And the Dons kind of get an extra time out here because the possession arrow favors San Francisco. These two teams will meet on the final weekend of regular season play, the Thursday night game in Malibu. They've kind of gone back to that. You start the season and end the season pretty much with the same people in the WCC. So that means Gonzaga BYU will be the last game of the regular year for both those teams. It's BYU's last year in the WCC. Now Rathbone at the free throw line. Rathbone with nine to shoot to Cromeli. Cromeli challenging and Banifo. Three to shoot. Cromeli's got a trigger now. That's a 30 second expiration. Big stop for Kristen Dowling's waves. Waves trying to make it five wins in a row. San Francisco trying to salvage a split here at home to open conference play. Stedman just missed making it a three-point game. Langer. Dons can play a little keep away here. 
Be interesting to see when Kristen Dowling tells her troops to start fouling. Langer, 13 to shoot. Bomb to Cremile and a foul on Mbanifo. Don's in the bonus for the rest of play. Don's have not scored in two and a half minutes. Mbanifo with her third. Kind of crazy. There's only been one lead change today. Pepperdine won a game with 21 of them on Saturday. The Dons played a game with no lead changes Saturday. Cremile makes it a three possession game. Next free throw matches the Dons season average for points in a game if it goes. Got them both. So Pepperdine needs three scores in 28 seconds. Stedman certainly capable of lighting it up from distance. Here's Walls. Christie's got the rebound. I think he can cue up goodnight Irene. The Dons appear on to victory this afternoon on the hilltop. Well, you know, we talked to Janelle Jones after Saturday's game. She said having a short memory would be a key. Gales fouled by Walls. But for Iwata Cremile, who's today's Evergood Sausages player of the game, certainly a short memory benefiting her. Seven points Saturday, 33 today. Gales will shoot two. Gales hits them both four possession game. So now a nine point lead. And this one here pretty much seals it. Gets them both, 73-63. So Pepperdine uses its last timeout. That will advance the ball to midcourt for the Waves. It's a full timeout, but we'll keep it right here. Reminds you, Don's basketball brought to you by Able Services. Able is America's largest privately owned provider of janitorial engineering and property management solutions. Do what USF does, trust Able. Learn more at ableserve.com. Remember, we'll have sat Thursday's game for you at 2 p.m. Pacific time right here on the WCC Network and USFDons.com. We hope you're having a great holiday week. I know a lot of kids are out. My daughter wishes her school was out already. They get out tomorrow. But I'm going to hand out an honor here. Our Planet Orange Pest of the Game today, Lauren Christie with five rebounds. Really played well defensively, 10 points in 23 minutes. The Planet Orange Pest of the Game is brought to you by Planet Orange, the Bay Area's best eco-friendly pest control. Pay them a visit at planetorange.com. Remember men's basketball tonight, 7 o'clock tip. You can catch it here in person. For you at tickets, go to usfdons.com. Hey, just do it the old-fashioned way. Show up at the box office. And Rathbone with the rebound. Dons can dribble it out here up by 10. And that'll do it. San Francisco evens its conference record. And the Dons beat Pepperdine for the fifth time in a row in the all-time series. The happy recap is next. We'll have more on USFDons.com and the WCC Network. Planet Orange, a leader in eco-friendly, effective pest control. Let us be your partner for all your pest control needs. Servicing residential, industrial, and commercial customers without harming the environment. Planet Orange, family-friendly, pet-friendly, and professional. Come to USF and roll up your sleeves. 
Learn by doing, not just by listening. Study with professors, not with teaching assistants. In small classes, not large lecture halls. Come learn the city of optimism and opportunity. Come find your voice, find your people, find your purpose. Come to USF and prepare to succeed. Come to USF and learn to change the world. Atop Lone Mountain, breaking through the fog that flows like an inevitable force. Embracing the ambition of this city, we aim for greatness. We focus clearly on our challenges. We see the future we will change. Let all who join us and all who compete with us know the high ground is where we stand. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees, strong like a tong squeeze. You'll say, aw, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this? And back here on the Hilltop, George Devine joined on the happy recap by Iwana Cremila. Well, Iwana, just another day at the office, 33 points. But for you, I think the big story is you had seven points on Saturday and a very frustrating loss. What difference did 48 hours make for you? Uh, I mean, you know, we hate losing, and especially on our own court. So we said, listen, we lost a game, but we have to fix up. We came the next day in practice, really focused. And we worked all together for the 40, 48 hours, and we said, okay, everybody can be there, and everybody in, in every night. So we said we have to be focused 40 minutes, and that's what we did. And I think today we got the win, and we, uh, we deserve it. You know, you had a stretch, though, where tr turnovers were troublesome again. You had 19 today. What does this team need to do to kind of clean up that part of the game? Um, I mean, you know, every time when we make mistakes, we are we have to stay focused. And even though when we have like one minute or two minutes that we don't play good, we, are, we get all together. Uh, every time we have the chance and we are like, come on, let's fix that. Let's, let's keep playing all together. And, you know, even though we made some mistakes, we got back and we worked all together. You talk about getting together. How well does this team communicate? I think really good. The most important thing is uh, we have really good communication off the court too, and this helps us a lot on the court. And you know, everybody can talk to each other. We want to help each other, and we are we are really really glad we we get to play with each other for another year. So we we have a really good communication. Yeah, big bounce back this afternoon, and something I was thinking about you. You passed Shanae Dykes today on the all-time career scoring list, and you're now number six at USF. I'm just looking at the names ahead of you: Margaret Walsh. Hall of Fame, Brittany Lindy, Hall of Fame, Taylor Proctor will probably go in in the next class, Dominique Carter, Hall of Fame, Mary Heil, Hall of Fame. How do, how do you like that sound? I mean, you know, I'm really, I'm really lucky to be there, and I've said before that I think my teammates have got me there, like my, my teammates and my coaches, so that's not only, uh, only me, it's the whole team that has done that. You know, one thing I, I, I like watching about you, Iwana, is, you know, you get in some situations, and today you had, what did you have, two assists, and it's, oh, you had, you, had, you had two, but you get in a lot of situations where there'll be three players around you, and that's tough to pass out of, but you find one of the two open people. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty tough, but I have trust on my teammates, and I know every time I will pass to them, they will make the basket. So even though when it's hard to pass to them, I'm trying to find the open player, and, you know, I know they will make it, so. Well, our ever-good sausage player of the game, Iowana Cremili, 33 points this afternoon in a win over Pepperdine. We're back to the hilltop with more of the happy recap after this.
Getting back here on the happy recap, the Dons win it this afternoon over Pepperdine, 73 to 63. They hit free throws down the stretch, and Iowana Cromeli had one of her better games. 13 of 20 overall, shooting 5 of 10 from 3. She added 6 rebounds and a couple of assists. So 33 points for Cromeli, our ever good sausage player of the game, and our ever good, our pest of the game from Planet Orange. Uh, Lauren Christie came off the bench to score 10 points. Really lifted the Dons on a day they needed some help on in the post with Deborah Dos Santos fouling out early. For Pepperdine, Allie Stedman led the way with 23 points. She had 25 in a game here, 17 in a game here last year. She went 5 of 11 from 3 and 9 of 23 overall and hit big shots down the stretch. Pepperdine trailed at the half by a score of 41 to 23, but actually won the second half in terms of the breakdown of scoring, but the Dons wind up prevailing by 10. Looking at the rebounding numbers in this one, Dons prevailed 35 to 33. Turnovers were bad for both teams. 24 Pepperdine, 19 for San Francisco. Dons won the battle, the turnover scoring ratio 26 to 20. Dons also dominated in the paint 36 to 28. Second chance points even at 10. And check this out, the bench scoring today, and this is where, you know, people like Jasmine Gales and Deborah Dos Santos show their value. 35-4 to four in favor of San Francisco. Lauren Christie had 10. Jasmine Gales, 11. Dos Santos had 8. That's your bench scoring difference there for the Dons. Well, the Dons will host a non-conference game on Thursday. I've been here for 27 years. This is the first time. That's going to happen. A, a non-conference game after WCC play starts. So we'll see you on Thursday at 2 p.m. We also invite you to join Pat Olson and Hall of Famer Jim Bravelli at 7 tonight here on USFDons.com, the WCC Network men's action. Dons host the Mavericks from the University of Texas, Arlington. And you can also catch that on KNBR 1050 here in the Bay Area if you're driving around. Hope your holiday week is going great. We look forward to seeing you on Thursday as we get closer to Christmas. Jessica Blodgett will be back with me Thursday. Until then, George Devine, have a great day.